Hello and welcome to this service of worship for the first Sunday in Lent. Interestingly, it's first Sunday in rather than of Lent. I used to find it really confusing that there's 40 days of Lent, but if you count up from Ash Wednesday to Good Friday, it's more than 40 days. But you take off all the Sundays because they are not fast days. Although Lent, did it ever really finish from 2020? I'm leading this service with my husband James Bissett, who's the Minister of Contin and Strathpeffer Church, and I'm Susan Cord, the Minister of Calernon and Not Being Church. We hope you find this a time of coming together before God, and you feel God's presence in your home from our home. Let's pause for a few moments as we still our minds and open our hearts to God's presence with us. The days are fair drawn out. Shoots of bulbs are pushing through bare ground. The temperature sensor in the cars are turning back above freezing. Hope of spring is coming. Even as we begin this Lenten journey, we come, we need, we long to be reminded of God's love for us. Amen. Our reading today is from Genesis chapter 9, reading from verses 8 through to 17. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth, I establish my covenant with you. Never again. Will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood? Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you, and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again Will the waters become a flood to destroy all life? Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. Amen. And may God add his blessing to this reading from his holy word.